Hi everyone, I'm Lauren D'Amelio Ventry and I have been in this industry for over 16 years. I've educated thousands of makeup artists just like you and I'm here to help you with any problems you might have. From the thousands of makeup artists that I've educated, the most commonly asked question that I get almost daily is how to price yourself. A lot of questions go into this. A lot of people are scared to overprice themselves. A lot of people don't realize that they're actually underpricing themselves. So instead of making money in this industry, you're actually losing money. So you'll never be able to make this a career. So important to know what your pricing should be and price yourself accurately. From there, you could always increase your prices. But again, if you are not pricing yourself correctly, you could actually be losing money on every client that you do, which again is never are going to allow you financial freedom or to make this your full-time career. If you're serious about making this your full-time career as a makeup artist and you want to quit your nine to five and be able to make a profitable living income from makeup artistry alone, again, pricing is essential. We're going to start off with the basics and how to learn how to price yourself to know what your bottom line is. There's a lot of factors that go into this. What you want to make is very important as well, but let's first of all start off with figuring out how much you spend on every client. Yes, that's right. We spend money on every client that we do. You don't realize it because it's little by little, and then all of a sudden in four months, you're spending five, $6,000 at Sephora or Ulta online. So you gotta make sure that you're pricing yourself correctly to compensate for all of this money that's going out. What I need you to really truly understand is that pricing really matters. It's not just going based off of your competition in the area because your expenses are not the same as their expenses. So if you want to profit as a makeup artist, you need to use my profit first pricing formula. And that's going to be your total expenses times 1% plus your desired profit and that is going to bring you to your premium price. We're going to start off with your total expenses. What does that mean? Everything that is in your kit, that is your brushes, that is your sanitizing products, that is your disposable products, those are your makeup products, that's eyeshadows, lipsticks, lip glosses, eyeliners, lip liners, every single thing that's in your kit, your actual kit. How much did you spend on that actual train case that you carry all of your product around in. Maybe you have a chair that you bring with you to clients or lighting that you have. All of this needs to be added up because these are your expenses. This is what you're spending money on as a makeup artist. Once you have that all added up, it might take you a little bit of time, but take the time to do it. Go later on tonight, get your kit, start adding up every single product that you have, every single eyeshadow, every single brush, every single lip liner, everything. Add it all up, figure out what that number is. Now, I say times it by 1% because we're using about 1% of our kit on every client that we do. I like to use 1% as a rough estimate. It could be more on certain clients, it could be a little less on certain clients, but 1% roughly is what we spend on every client because 1% of our product is being used. So now let's just say you have a kit that is worth $5,000. For some of you that might be a little high, for some of you that might be really low. I'm just using it for example, just to explain to you how to do this. So $5,000 is your total expenses, all your kit, your lighting, your, your chair, every single thing that you take with you as a makeup artist. 5,000 times 1% is $50. Now $50 is what you're spending on every client. So now if you're only charging $75 per client, you're only profiting $25. Now is that worth it for you to be packing up all your stuff in the car, driving to your client, doing the work for an hour, two hours, packing all your stuff up and getting everything back in the car? Most likely not because at that point you might as well go work in retail because in those few hours that you're working on that client, you'd be making more at minimum wage, correct? So you need to figure out what your desired profit is off of each client. So again, if your expenses and your spending on each client is around $50, then you want to say, okay, I want to profit at least $100 or at least $50 off of every client that I do because that's my time, that's my experience, that's my skill, that's everything that goes into it, that's what I deserve to work on each client. That is personal to you. But if you're only charging $50 
or less, you are losing money or just not profiting at all on every client that you're doing. So knowing what your bottom line is, is the most crucial part of this formula. Once you have that, figuring out your desired profit is very important. Once you have your desired profit, I'm gonna go with $100 per client, right? I just think that's a good number at least to make off of each client. So you're gonna add 100 to your 50, and that's going to bring us to our premium price. So now our premium price is $150. Once you have your premium price, you're going to be able to increase it yearly, or maybe you're starting to add better products to your kit and your kit is now worth $10,000. Now you know that your minimum or your expenses per client are going to add up to $100 a client. So everything goes into it. Maybe you're spending money on education that year. Everything that you're spending money on, please don't forget to add that into your total expenses. And you should be raising your prices every year or every six months, just like you would do at a corporate job. If you worked in retail even, you're going to be getting a raise at least every year. So make sure you're giving yourself that raise or else you're better off working for a company and not working for yourself. So all these things are very important if you wanna be a CEO of your own company. Remembering these rules and following my profit first pricing formula will guarantee that you are always making money on a client and never losing money. I'm going to include my profit first pricing formula below this video for you guys to look back at whenever you need it and reference it just to make sure that you are always profiting I hope this helped and I'll be back with more tips and tricks for you guys.